What's up guys, so today I'm doing some other for a video today, so it is obviously coming up to Halloween which is of course spooky season where all things spooky happen and you have Halloween costumes and you um, do makeup things so I went to Poundland the other day to get a few things and I noticed a load of like cheap Halloween makeup which I thought Oh my god, I need to try out today Obviously Poundland is known as like, having really cheap products which sometimes doesn't work or it's rubbish generally or it breaks within like a minute of having the product so I can't really imagine having Halloween makeup from Poundland will be the best but I got two lots of Halloween makeup up today so I'm gonna try it out today and I've even got this like neck choker thing as well which I had to buy with this makeup so I had to literally buy separately this neck choker so this better be good so I did a video last year where I tried on the full face of cheap Halloween makeup which guys even put fake eyelashes on like this is the most hardest thing to do ever here's what look looks like so here's what I managed to finally come up with so I'm gonna step it up this year and try a bunch of cheap makeup from Poundland so I mean they all look good but I mean do they actually feel good like is this thing gonna actually feel good on my face like is it actually gonna be like a picture like who knows so don't forget to leave a thumbs up in this video subscribe to channel turn on notifications and let me know what we do until next time and let's um do this video Okay, so here's all the Halloween makeup guys, so we have here a day of the dead makeup, so apparently the makeup makes you look like this. You're supposed to apparently look like these creepy um, vampires, so hopefully I look like that. And then we have the vampire makeup, so makeup that makes you look like a vampire, so the one thing I hated about this though is that you have to buy a separate like vampire neck choker which costed like £1, so I literally had to pay £1 separately for this plasticky thing which probably isn't gonna look good. So for the vampire makeup we have like fake blood and sponges and all the other things. Oh, we even have the teeth as well, so that's good. So I can put this teeth thing in my mouth. Well, I'm presuming that's where it goes. And then for the day after dead makeup, it's just the same old, same old um, thing. So, I don't know what to try first. I think I might actually try the day after dead makeup. So that's what I'm doing right now. So, yeah, let's um, try this thing on. <laughs> Okay, so I've got this makeup here, so to be honest, I am not really the best excited about trying this, to be honest, but I think it could be good, so let's do this. So I'm going to open this thing up right now. Two hours later. Okay, so it comes with these like, instructions, so you have all the things here which um, you follow to apply anything on, so that's really good. Okay, so first up, so it says here, apply a base layer of white over the whole face, so okay, so you have the white makeup here, so that's good gonna be like my base so it's gonna go like all over my face and it's gonna be like the white like background so the other things can go on so you need a white makeup and a sponge and you need to apply two thin coats of this thing so this is gonna take quite a while so I'm gonna do a time lapse of this and yeah let's do this I've literally just applied the first coat of the white paint and honestly it does not look good so I'm hoping the second coat will make it look a bit better but right now I am not feeling it yeah it's like I mean I guess you can say this is a Halloween mask because I mean it looks scary so I'm gonna apply the second layer of this and hope for the best that um, it, it'll at least kind of look good so yeah Okay, so I've decided to move into my bedroom because I was in the bathroom before and I had to keep coming back to my bedroom to get a few things so I thought, well, may as well just film in here because I got everything in my bedroom anyway, so um, yeah, so now here's to coat two of um, the makeup. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so I've kind of did it again, but kind of like smoothed it out a bit and kind of made it look good, but the consistency of it didn't really feel good. Like it felt like really cheap lipstick. It wasn't the best to apply on, but I mean, I guess it's better than nothing, so hopefully it stays. But anyway, okay, so now it says once the white layer is dry, use the other side of the sponge to apply large black circles around the eye area, so you're supposed to apparently make it look like this, kind of, so you're supposed to just apply a circle around the eye area, so it's that simple, really. So again, it's like the same consistency as the white thing. So you're supposed to go over your eye area, so... Kind of like this. Okay, so here's what it kind of you're supposed to make it look like. So you're supposed to fill in the circle bit and it makes like the black eye area. This is not going well, guys, I will say. Now I've got to fill it in. Guys, I have literally no idea what's going on with the sponge because I have my eyes closed. So hopefully by the time I open my eyes, it will at least look a bit good. Hot mess explodes. Oh god. god. Oh my god, it's like the worst thing ever. So here's what the eye things are supposed to look like. Next, use a black makeup pencil provided to add a skeleton nose shape. Ta-da, got the black pencil. So you're supposed to make it look like this um, thing. This is not gonna go well. Oh my God, ah, this is ticklish. Oh God, well, that is literally just gone all over the place except for my nose. And then you fill in the outline with the um, black makeup. And then you use the black makeup pencil to outline the scallop shapes around the eyes and the chin area. Try simple dots and lines for a striking effect. Be creative. I'll try and be creative, but I can't guarantee because I am terrible apparently at doing Halloween makeup, as you can see. Oh my god, I've literally got the greasiest hands ever from the makeup. That's one thing I hate about this makeup as well, it's so freaking greasy. They can practically fry an egg on this makeup, like no offence. Okay, so I'm just literally doing what the packaging looks like. And I'm not doing a good job of it either. It does say be creative, so I'm just gonna try and um, do my own thing. <laughs> then to finish the look, use the makeup brush to apply purple paint to the lips and fill in the scallop shapes around the eye and the chin area. So now for the greasy AF lipstick, which I'm not looking forward to doing. Okay, I have a feeling this is literally gonna end terribly. Okay, so here's what my lips look like. Ta -da. Okay, so my makeup looks very scurry, but not as scurry as the packaging makes it look like. So here's my Day of the Dead makeup look, y'all. Like James Charles and all the other beauty gurus. Are you watching this? Like, are you jealous of my fabulous makeup skills? So yeah, this is um my Day of the Dead makeup look. So this is apparently what it's supposed to look like. Now I'm not gonna try and slate the product at all because this is more so me and my terrible makeup skills. So um, but I will say though that the makeup is so greasy AF. Like you can practically throw and an entire fry up breakfast on that makeup. There's so much grease on it. Anyway, so this is my look. So um, I guess here's to the other makeup. Okay, so I can't really say if it was good or bad because I haven't even done the makeup yet. Like I'm literally filming this part of the video before I even try the makeup on. So I'm not sure what it actually felt like. Anyways, next up is this vampire makeup, which to be fair, I am quite looking forward to doing it because it looks quite good, I will say. Like, yeah, this vampire thing, it's simple and yeah. Then I'm quite um a bit I don't know about trying this neck choker thing, so um, this is going to be very weird, so hang on. 
Okay, so it's a new dawn, new day, and also a new Halloween makeup set. So, right now I've got the vampire makeup, and yes, I've already ripped apart the packaging. It's all here, so I'm going to take all this out right now, and then um, do the vampire makeup. So, that's really exciting. So, I'm just going to do the makeup exactly the same as the vampire thing. I'm not really going to take you guys through, like, exactly what I'm doing now. So, I think that's kind of boring to just because, like, literally all we do makeup, so... I'm going to follow exactly this now and I'll get back to you guys and see how it actually feels and um, all that so I'll see you guys in a minute. I am so scary. <laughs> this is not all good. Um, what can I say about this vampire makeup? Um, let's say it totally sucked. So, first it was the foundation. So, um, I tried to use the foundation applying sponge to apply this white foundation. And first of all, the foundation was extremely thin. So, it didn't quite cover my face. It's also the sponge as well. Like, the sponge was so soft that it would just like keep missing my face like it just wouldn't rub the foundation on my face like it could rub around my face but not onto my face where I wanted it so that sucked and also the rest of the things as well were also the same as well so like, I suppose I'm looking at a highlight thing down my eye and end up looking terrible and believe it or not I'm supposed to have a grey contour thing there which you can't see because I tried to apply the contour like it said using a foundation sponge and that did absolutely um, naff all. So, and then also, there's this like fake blood thing as well, which looks alright to be fair. I didn't necessarily do a good job in like putting it on, but if I did it properly, because it, it said like drip the blood on it, but I didn't want to drip like the bottle of blood onto my skin and ruin my t shirt, so I kind of like painted it on with the paintbrush thing which was provided. But, and also, these teeth as well, like, they really hurt your gums putting it on, so I'm gonna put it on and see how much they hurt. Ah. Oh god. I, you like really hurt. Yeah, okay, so here's what these teeth are supposed to look like, so. Yeah. But I'm gonna put these chokers on because I haven't tried this uh, choker yet, so I'm gonna put this thing on and see what it looks like. Oh my god, this does not feel good. Ah, this literally feels so cheap. And it's supposed to make this uh, neck choker thing, but I mean, it looks good. But how do you secure this thing on? Because I managed to strap it through, but now it needs freaking securing. It looks very cheap, I will say. And it also feels very cheap as well. Like, it's just like sticky, like gluey, greasy um, silicone material, which does not feel good. Like, it's not comfortable at all. And yeah, this is definitely not a vibe. So I'm... Um, not really feeling that good about this one which I'm very disappointed because like I was actually the most excited about the vampire makeup because I thought I would like actually look like a vampire and look scary but instead he got this hot mess of uh, makeup. In fact I actually went to the store today to buy some makeup wipes to take his makeup off afterwards because I was anticipating that it would actually be like full on like Halloween makeup that I need to try and take off so looks like I bought makeup wipes for nothing. So that's quite disappointing. So that's um, all the Halloween makeup so and I guess that's good. Okay, so that's it for today's Halloween Poundland makeup thing. So to conclude that, I would say the Poundland makeup was very cheap, I will say. So if you're planning on buying makeup from Poundland, especially the vampire makeup, then literally don't bother. Because for one, the vampire makeup was horrendous. Like, everything from the foundation to the blood to the chokers were absolutely horrendous. It was trash and, um, I honestly hated that makeup. So I would say don't go to Poundland for all your Halloween makeup needs and go somewhere else because you're only gonna get cheap, nasty Halloween makeup from there which won't even go on your face. Yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to let me know what was next time. And I hope you guys have a great day ever. I shall leave you be now. And so yeah, bye. Come on.